Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paul Leo Jr. And uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to very simply um, share your existing internet connection that you're getting via your Wi-Fi adapter, which is here, and share that connection to your ethernet port, which can then, where you plug in an ethernet wire, and then that can go to another computer, to an Xbox, or to a router, whatever it is, you're sharing the internet. So let's get right into it. And if you're not in this screen already, you can right click here, go to open network and sharing center, and then go to change adapter settings. And that's where it'll bring you to this, it'll bring you to this uh, box here. Uh, you can also go to start and then go to control panel and then uh, network and internet view, um, or network and sharing center, change adapter settings. So now that we're at this screen, what we want to do is we want to share our internet connection. And so we're using Windows 7 here. Uh, I believe this goes all the way back to Windows 98 and is also um, can also be used all the way up to Windows 10. So we're going to right click on where we're connected to the internet, this adapter. We're going to click properties. You can leave everything the same on um, on this box you can go to the sharing tab and then just click allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection and sometimes this box doesn't show up but if it does select the actual ethernet card that you're going to be sharing your internet to so i'm sharing it to local area connection which is right here and then i'm going to go over to settings and in settings i'm going to check off just hit just uh check them off and then hit ok and I would select every single one of these and then hit OK. And just so there's no um, interference or there's no there's nothing restricting you from once once your internet is being shared, there's nothing restricting you that from sharing your internet connection that there's things that can't be done on the other side. So we're gonna hit OK. And then we'll see over here this has changed over to uh, an identified network. And this is where you would plug in your Ethernet card, I mean your Ethernet wire, from this computer. And then you would plug it to wherever you want to go. Plug it to a, in, to a router, to an Xbox, to another computer, whatever you want to do. And now, those, now you are sharing that Internet to the other computer. So the best way, I believe, for this to be used is, for, is to plug this your ethernet wire from this current computer to a router, to a wireless router. Now in doing this, you have to disable uh, your firewall. Um, so whatever internet security program you are using, make sure the firewall is disabled. I left mine on and I couldn't get, I couldn't share the internet for anything. I couldn't access it. As soon as I disabled my firewall on my computer, I was able to see everything, do everything, everything was completely fine. So even though the firewall is disabled, um, the rest of my internet security has been enabled. I have been able to get through using Windows, while Windows firewall has still been up, but I haven't been able to get through for my third party software when that firewall was enabled. So, which is still pretty good. So the, the Windows firewall is still enabled. And if for whatever reason it doesn't work, disable Windows firewall, but for me having Windows firewall open still works and then from there you have complete access to the internet so what i have set up in another room is this is going this is plugged into a linksys wireless router and then in there i can change all the settings i want blah 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 and then i can connect to that wireless router with um with any mobile device with any laptop uh, anything that has Wi-Fi capability, and then I can also plug other devices directly into that uh, router as well. So this comes in handy if you do not have a Wi-Fi um, a repeater or a Wi-Fi extender. So that's probably your best chance, your best choice as far as sharing your internet. But if you don't feel like paying for that, and you already have an existing router or you just want to share it to one single device, this is the easiest way. So you just leave your computer on 
and then plug in the Ethernet card, the Ethernet port into your existing Ethernet card, and then plug the other side into whatever device you want to have internet access to. And that's really it. So, because for there was, I used to use this uh, a couple of years ago. So, th this is still an applicable uh, way of sharing. It's called uh, internet connection sharing. And this is still pretty applicable for 2016 going into 2017. But I used to use this for devices that didn't have Wi Fi capability. And I used to have a Xbox that did not have uh, the Wi Fi. So, what I would do is I would exactly what I just showed you and then I would plug the other side into the into the Xbox 360 and then the 360 would have the um, would have an internet connection and then I would just play 360 and then I would just shut down the computer but obviously the computer needs to be on all you have to do is right click on your existing internet connection right click properties and then do it like that and from there you can um, you know, you go to the sharing tab and then just share it to whatever um, Ethernet card you have. And then that's it. Very simple process. I hope this video helped you out. I wanted to make something quick, but was still relevant. Something I just actually had to use because I did not have an, uh, an extender, a Wi-Fi extender. But for your, the best way to go is to get a Wi-Fi extender so you don't have to leave your computer on. So uh, make sure your firewall is disabled, your third-party firewall. And if it still doesn't work, make sure that your Windows firewall is disabled as well. Hope this helped. Uh, thank you for watching. Very, very simple video. And there's going to be more, more to come. So thank you.